so yo 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 what's up everyone Oryx here and welcome to the clan tutorial for the dragon clan so let's go right into it we are gonna play on the high word hostility and yeah let's do it so if we have never played the dragon clan before we are just gonna go over the build what you should uh, pick uh, what the build order you should have. So you start out with your three villagers, you will get uh, two trials to help you out and what you want to do is get two scout, scout your surrounding areas and the first thing you want to focus on is getting lore, like getting the lore going is gonna be insanely helpful. That's the one thing you want to focus on. After the tiles are scouted, you know what tiles you have and you have gotten your lore tile and your lore, lore master running then you want to have one woodcutter and one sailor and you want to get two more trials but we'll get to that okay so easy free dial there another free dial there there's our iron so we are still missing our stone and lore uh, if you don't get the lore then well, dude, I can only say that I'm sorry, <laughs> because the map generation now in Northgard should always guarantee like one tile that has lore next to your main. Oh, there we go. So there are two wolves there, that means I need the three villagers to take down them. So we are gonna do that. So. Since uh, this uh, tutorial is going to be used for everything, we cannot go and grab ourselves the shipwreck, even though that would be amazing right now and it would give us a lot of economy. So we like don't even have to do a lot of things. Get the lore master up. We got lucky with the wood influence, so we have plus two wood, which is amazing. Now we want to focus on getting our wood cutter and getting house up so we can have more people join. After we have these buildings done, we have the wood cutter, we have one wood cutter working, we have the house, we want to focus on getting our ship down so we can buy more trolls to get us some more food. Is the focus right now and I see that there are bullets there. So I would rather prefer to have the tile scouted and cleared than have the bullets come and annoy me. Like, one thing you want to do is just have the tiles next to your tiles that you're colonizing cleared so that the bullets are not gonna attack me. But even though these bullets here are probably gonna attack me, so I will either get this tile later or we'll see. But we'll definitely scout that one so that my lord does not get interrupted. So, now get me the sailors going. We have 5 out of 10 people. Get our stone tile as our third tile. And the fourth tile will be with the iron tile. So the way that we are going to have our lord tree played out is that we take mining efficiency and the reason we take mining efficiency is because miners extract ore from deposits 50% faster which saves you a lot of food so it's as good or even better as colonization in early game it's like insane if you're mining 30 stone then it's like yeah you have to pick it up there is no way around it okay so there are four wolves there that is way too many <laughs> i cannot deal with that so we are not going for it at the moment. We could go for it. But nah, we are not. Okay, so we have one wood cutter going. We have our one sailor going. Now we can already start building the mine. The stone mining will be next, we want to upgrade our main as fast as possible. And our floor is going to be interrupted quite often just because we are having a wolf cap next to us, which is sad. 
but there is nothing I can do about it. So, mining efficiency, get our two more trials. Uh, suicide two people once I need to. At the moment, the wood influence is very good. Next will be the food. And I'm gonna wait here until I can get my four tile, get the iron tile, and I don't have to worry about that either. There are more woods there, so the wood is gonna attack my lower tile and my farm tile, which is not amazing, but what to do? Not all maps you can have tiles that are just being cleared out. Like, if this was the only four tile wolf tile here, I would take my five villagers and I would go and take them down. But since it's not, then I'm not really gonna do it because I'm taking this tile here. Okay, let's sacrifice you guys up. Have our second wood color breaking. Like, wood has not been a problem, so. I can just ignore that part. Uh, the way you get uh, dragon influence is very random, there is nothing you can do about it, sadly badly. So the next thing you want to focus on is getting your main upgraded right away. And that we will focus on. We have our four wood tiles going. Or just four tiles going. So we can start mining and... Since of the wood influence at the start, could you decrease the game of the sound? <laughs> like, actually, no, I can't. Uh, because the way this game is like, hey, you know what, music, hmm, it's either this or it's off. So I'm gonna have it like this. I will also post a uh, description what you should uh, be aiming for, what you should be doing on the comment section, not on the comment section, but on the description of the video, so it's not that uh, problematic, but yeah, the game sound is too loud, there's nothing I can do about it, and I don't also want to be on the silence, otherwise I'm gonna be like, mm, what's going on? So there is another happiness, there is happiness buff going up, one, two, three people need to sacrifice for that, I have two injured, so we'll wait until I get my third and get that happiness going. That will be amazing. Uh, so, what do I need next? After we got my main upgraded, we want to go and... Ah, there we go. Want to get the iron. Yep, this can wait. Get Dragonic Friends next. You can go for ship pulling here if you want to. If you know that you're going for sailors, you can take the ship pulling up. But we are not sure if we want to go for ship pulling or we want to go for coinage. So the next door will be Dragonic Frenzy into Phoenix Ape. Suck the injured dudes up. Have one my one two mining stone. Then get my main upgraded. Have my second wood cutter back. Because I still will need wood. And this here actually was a mistake. I should have gotten a second woodcutter going, but that's fine. So the winter in this game means that you're gonna have minus 30%, I think it was also food gathering minus 30% in the winter, but yeah, military units will have debuff when they're out of your territory and your food gathering just goes down by a lot. So we have our mine iron going. If we are now too afraid of the wolves, I can go and have my dragon gilater up to get my chief out. 
for that I will need more gold. Plus three is not gonna be enough. And since there are like so many woes around, I think I will focus on getting the chief out first, just so I can deal with the neutrals. Otherwise, I would delay the mining here, and I would get my second woodcutter up and have a third woodcutter working. So our next floor will be fair coats. We don't really need defensive strategy, but fair coats means that you can also attack in winter and people usually want to attack in winter. After that, feeling safe. It's just that we have this uh, coming of uh, more people all the time without uh, needing to rely on having more ties and having feast until we can actually get some other lords and then get our happiness up so this is like a very easy way to balance everything and this is the way I like to play the dragon at least in the current patch that is out okay so two wolves nothing to do about Good. So get my second woodcutter up. Yeah, I'm gonna get that first. Then get my fur goats. We'll wait with my chief. Not gonna be a problem. I need to get some more gold first anyway. Uh, we're gonna wait for 13 population. Since I got the happiness in Valens, uh, then I can already order my two more slaves in to help my economy but otherwise you won't get your 13 population until like four three months into the game more Yeah, keep mining iron, keep mining the stone, so we have it mined. There is the trolls. Welcome. Uh, so now I could take the code and I'm gonna go with the uh, code first because I wanna get chief out. And after that I'm gonna focus on getting lore. Alright, two sailors going, have three woodcutters working. Gonna have fourth one working. Now uh, while next thing I wanna do. We have our basic economy going for wood colors. Wood colors are needed for wood of course for building and with that we can snowball our economy. So now we we would prefer to uh yeah, for sure I can deal with this guy, that's not the problem. <coughs> now we would prefer to have some food going, a uh, food boiling. So we are gonna get farm here once we can. We'll have to take someone away. I guess the miner will be good enough to be taken away. Okay, get a uh, farm up and running. Then we are gonna upgrade right away once we have the code for it. Keeping our four wood colors working. And we are at pop cap, so <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, villager. Thank you for serving. Okay, got my chief out. Still missing a little bit more lore to get the feeling safe. Uh, this guy is really done mining here in a second, which is amazing. Mm. 
So we'll get uh, one scout. And uh, scout is one tile, so we can get rid of all of the neutrals that are attacking us, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. And uh, we have finished up the stone. Missing some code to upgrade our farm, but that's fine. We will get it when we get it. And the next thing we want to focus on is getting our code going. So, since you're gonna probably play in teams, you will want to go for the coin store and merchant. So, we are just gonna get trading post and we will upgrade the trading post with the remaining 10 stone we have. Again, pop capped, so goodbye woodcutter. And welcome another one. At the moment I actually need some more food so I could colonize my pit tile. So we'll keep the three woodcutters going. And you're done mining iron, that's very really good. Okay, four wool is here also. Go take care of them. Since our chief is very strong, he can easily just take the wolves down. Okay, good. We can wait at the trading post, we could also have more. So the next influence is very bad and we don't need it. Uh, get the woodcutter back, have another house going. So we will be bobcapped here for mm, a little bit, but nothing too bad. We'll need to also heal up our two, so need to get the healing camp when I can. And since we are at... like we are... I'm gonna wait for the house to be finished, then feast, and then get my fifth tile to get my 200 uh, fame bonus, and it will be amazing. This uh, shipwreck will stay there. It would have been amazing to get it just to have a very good head start. I could have probably gone for like uh, five tiles with the shipwreck. Didn't have to like really focus on the wood, and I also got the wood influence, which was very amazing. Get some healing going. In team games, you are probably not gonna be the one that is doing the scouting, so you can destroy the scout camp and have something else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, scout some more dice that are next to us, so our other people don't have to scout. One upgraded wood pulling is fine. I'm gonna get up my forge so I can also start getting my tools, weapons upgraded for the dragon skin. Then get coinage. Could trade away food if I heal someone, but I don't. Saving up for another beast here for 150 food. And there is another happiness blessing. Wow. Okay, sure. I'm really not gonna use it, but that's nice. So yeah, the problem at the moment I have is that I just don't have enough villagers to get them working. Have three here, an upgraded tile with the trading post and they also have coinage. Okay. See if you can go finish off the wolves now. A lot more wolves there. There is also the second stone, which will be needed to upgrade our war camps. Mm, 
I wanna get at least one dude out to start already. Having work on the dragon king. I will also have the scout go and help uh, smithing the tools. So the only thing I'm missing right now is just actually putting my war camps up. You can decrease this, you don't have to put the trading post and upgrade it. It comes down to what's the speed of the game, the pace of the game, what you need to do, do you actually need to focus on getting more gold or you need to just go and smack down the war camps. Leave it at 99-98% so it doesn't get your upkeep. If you can, if you can't, then just build it. So, in mind with the team games, you can, you don't have to upgrade it. You can build another trading post, and you can just have wood trades going, or wood trades, whatever you prefer. Uh, yeah, let's get you guys there. One more. All right, woodcutter. You are dismissed. <laughs> yeah, the wolves are separate, so I'm just gonna go and join one of them. I will need a healer. Master that they forgot about. So hard labor is going to be next and since we know where our second stone is and we don't need iron to forge our relic, we can skip the Earth's blessing and go for more happiness. Just be like very happy. So I will need uh, some more space. Don't really need the scout camp, already can see what everything I have. We'll remove it down another time, so we're just gonna have house on main. The rats are coming, so I should maybe actually get the silo up first, so we don't lose our food. If this was a multiplayer and I was really in a hurry or seeing that I'm getting scouted, I would just get the camps up and delay the silo, but this is fine. is good. I will wait. But yeah, the happiness I don't have to have. And since the event is rats, I'm gonna get sick people and I am going to take them down. You know what? Actually gather food. That it matters. Okay, we have camps going up there. Need another camp there. Also need to get this uh, tile here, 160 food. So focus on that. Then want to mine the stone and then upgrade our camps. And yeah, that's gonna be it. The only way to get our 
code income to be better is to get the marketplace or to start trading. And plus 11 should be good enough. So Dragon is a very slow clan, you can rush for your 4 warband, but uh, 4 warband really isn't amazing at all. Okay, let's get uh, the sick people away. Don't need them. And yeah, I do need wood at the moment just to get like everything built, so I have the wood influence, otherwise I would go for the lore and have the lore one. Okay, so the forge we can destroy, we can rebuild it later. Now we just need to start money and to pull our camps up. So the next lore, after you have gotten your basic uh, five lores and your hard labor and your blessing, is going to be going for the recruitment. You can wait uh, either to get colonization or you can get eradication. Since we didn't get the colonization like early on, and yeah, go repair or build building or people coming. It just comes down to preference. What do you like? Do you like the colonization or would you like to get the education? In this game, I would say that go for education just because you have the farm here. It will give you more food overall in the long run. But if you lose a tile, then. Or if you're just having planning on having buffer dice, then it will be better to just get colonization. one guy without the work. Okay, sure. Go get that. These guys are going and then also need to or want to get the lore going just because we don't really need wood that much anymore. We do need it but four wood cutters should be enough to do what's needed. Go get another farm there but it's fine. What I can do is build the house, destroy this one and have a marketplace. So we can make use out of the upgraded trading post. And then have a scout camp here. Also save up for a feast and do a feast if needed. Of course, you respawn that quickly. We did 
need Katag labor so we can have more trolls working on gathering wood and gold. So we'll do that. Yeah, they just like get plus one gold. So it's like, do you want plus two food from them or you just want plus one gold? Okay, go there. Get that, get the eradication. We have minus eight at the moment. When we get this, it's minus seven. It's one more food. That's it, that is fine. Okay. Get more games up and start upgrading camps. So now when you need to go and attack, it's up to you what do you want to do. Do you want to get uh, rid of your villagers or you want to stack up some slaves here so you don't have to destroy your population. Like getting more than 23 population is already pretty hard. It will just take a lot longer. You can put another house, but like 23 is already fine. When you get more camps upgraded, your happiness will go up and then you can afford more. But usually you're already fighting early on even. So like getting more population than that is not really needed. Yeah, could upgrade the marketplace if needed. But this is our economy. So we have nine warband. Uh, and let me check real quick. So for nine warband you need 810 gold. We don't even have that, so like. Yeah, we definitely need gold to actually make use of a warband. Okay, hello there. We don't care about you, but hello. A 1v1 with Kupaza? Yeah, if he is online, I will. So, uh, this game we had lore defended by wolves and I forgot to put my lore master back which is very stupid of me because recruitment is definitely needed to get your population back pretty fast and once you get your 10 army that is probably gonna die or maybe you do win then well it's all in and you're good but you're definitely gonna need uh, more gold like 10 warband for dragon is 950 gold and 11 warband is 1100 gold so like getting more warband will already be pretty hard okay well that's gonna be it for the dragon tutorial i hope it gave you an idea how to play the macro game <laughs> made me stress out sure uh, talking about uh, dollars, uh, this tutorial was sponsored by XX Relentless XX. Thank you for the support. And is there anything else I want to say? Mm, I will put the description like uh, what you should have and what you should not have, but we can go over that we have 810 gold. That uh, means that we can get. nine warband nine dragon gin to attack with for more we just have to grind more <laughs> just grind the gold get more houses up but yeah dragon kin kins the dragon clan are slow and they're they're good in numbers but there are at the moment there are other clans that are better like uh, the ox clan the charge it just melts through the dragon gins and the town just messes you up entirely 
and the way the attack is working is like how it is, it's very random the AoE attack of the Dragon Game. And like Horse will attack you in start of 802 with at least 8 Warband already, so even in 12, so it's like pretty hard to balance anything. So you can just maybe get more Dragon King up and that's gonna be it, just because you're not gonna have more tiles. Well, if you have Pip Tile, then you can maybe get Fire Dragon King, but you do need to focus on Gold then. But yeah, for the team games, I would definitely just go for Mining Efficiency into feeling safe and then get Coinage. Have your people working on Gold, have them trading, so you can make a uh, warband and help your allies out. Okay, that's gonna be it.